Templates are used to create easy access to regularly used effects, such as name straps or title sequences, where only the video and or the text changes. They're a good way of enforcing house styles, as you cannot change the options such as fonts, colours or positions, which you would be able to change if using the full effects menu. A template has a turquoise bin icon with a white or yellow T, and when placed on a timeline is indicated by a turquoise stripe at the top of the video track. Templates are designed for use on video layer 1 only, but can also be used on higher layers if they have been designed with a key channel. Templates are created on software with the Effects application, not MLT effects, and can be used on both SQEdit and Cube software. There are two ways to use a template – by applying a template to clips already on the timeline, or by placing a template on the timeline and applying new clips or text to it. Let's look at using a template on the timeline first. Place the template on the timeline, make sure the cursor is on the template and after any animation present, and press F10 to open the template user menu. The layers that are editable, which can be either text or video, are displayed on a scrolling menu to the left. The text is red until the layer has been modified, when the colour changes to black. Select the layer you want to change, and press Edit for text, using End or Enter to set the new text into the template. For video layers, indicated by a thumbnail, drag and drop the top left corner of a new clip into the thumbnail to change the video. If you need to access floating clips on the desktop, use the resize chevrons at the bottom left of the template window to reveal the desktop behind. When you finish your modifications, press Render. This will automatically take you back to the timeline once the render has finished. The template can be changed using this method as many times as required. You can also apply a template to something already on the timeline, for example adding a name strap. Place the cursor on the timeline segment and use the H key to insert a false edit to affect where the template will begin if required. Then press F10. The template menu will display a grey window as it knows there's no template there. Drag and drop your template from the clips or server bin onto the grey template edit window. The base layer of the template will be replaced by the timeline segment as long as the template has been designed correctly. You can now modify any other fields available and press Render. The shape of the T on the template will affect whether the template applies from the start of a segment, the end of a segment, or apply to the whole duration. For example, applying a 3 second template to a 10 second segment where T is to the left will start the template at the beginning of the segment and end 3 seconds later. Applying a T to the right template to the same segment would back time 3 seconds from the end of the segment. Applying a centred T template would apply to the whole 10 seconds, freezing the last frame of the original template for the remaining 7 seconds. The purpose of the template has to be carefully considered when it's designed to prevent excessive rendering when it's used. There are a few refinement tools available for video clips. The green numeric boxes to the right of the pause box allow the content of the video within the layer's container to be repositioned. The green numeric box to the right of the size box allows the image to be resized within the layer's container. The reset box will reset the values of the size and position back to those of the original template. The orange box in the middle of the menu indicates how many layers have not been modified, although it's not necessary to modify every layer before rendering. Leaving the template menu before rendering will place a pale green highlight on the timeline segment. Template rendering must be done inside the template user menu.